Brighton and Hove City Council wants your views on the future of the city's parks. Councils all over the country are facing reductions in the funding they receive from central government. It means they're facing tough decisions about how to go on providing many services. In Brighton and Hove, one key service affected will be parks. Between 2009 and 2020, the council's park service will have to lose around one third of its funding, down from £4.7 million to just £3.4 million. So to keep parks going, it means the council must explore new ways of providing and funding its 147 parks and playgrounds, as well as around 3,000 allotments. It's happening already. For example, new funding has been secured from national sporting bodies or the lottery. Volunteers and friends groups are an important part of maintaining parks. Future options could include turning some parks into charities or trusts. Some spaces could be sold to help pay for those which remain. Because change is now essential, the council wants residents' views on how that change should occur. What's important about your local park? With less money around, what would be on your shopping list for parks? If things must be cut, what should go? And so what we are doing is asking everybody and anybody to come forward with suggestions as to how they think we can attract income into the future to maintain our park. So we're looking at things that other councils have done, such as forming trusts to manage their parks. We're looking at ways that the parks themselves can generate income and things that can be activities that can be done within them, perhaps cafes and so on could contribute to their future. So this is a wide-ranging conversation. To get as many views as possible, the council has launched what it calls the Big Conversation on Parks. It's seeking views in various ways, and there'll be lots of opportunities to get involved. Survey postcards will be sent directly to 3,000 homes. If you get one, please respond. And see the contact details at the end of this video. In addition to everything else I like about this park, it's the fact that it's a very, very safe place for children to come. I like that it has a cafe. And they're well maintained. I don't know how they keep that up. Yeah. So you come in the morning, it's fresh and being looked after. It's very, very nice. I like this one better as well because it's got like mini uh, baby like sprinklers and there's like big ones for older children. Yeah. But we should be under no illusion that our open spaces, our playgrounds, our city parks are all under threat. Uh, due to budget restrictions and lack of resources, the council are going to have to be very creative about how they maintain these parks in future. We're talking about our central small parks where you might take a child just for a push on a swing, where you might walk a dog, where you might have a quick jog, where you might just sit and be and read a book. Um, everything, every single area um, in the open spaces sector um, is going to be affected. And the council are putting it out there for us to get involved. We must get involved for the solution, for the way forward. And hopefully they'll listen to what we have to say. And anybody that's passionate and, uh, about their local space must get involved. Join the big conversation about Brighton and Hove's parks. You'll need to give the council your views by October the 28th.